Wow, ladies and gentlemen, it came in today. A keto person's dream, butcher box. I am too excited. All right, so let's unbox this puppy. This is our first box. And I am super excited because this is gonna make all of our keto sensational meals into fantastic dinners. This is pretty cool. You guys already seen everyone else's unboxing that currently has the same thing. You don't wanna to touch the dry ice, so just be careful with dry ice. Put that to the top. And the first thing that came in this beautiful box is our boneless pork butt. Oh, I can't wait to make, to make something out of that pork butt. Followed with our ribeye. Two ribeyes. Oh man, I can't, I think I'm, we might have to make this today, Em. So we're going to make some ribeye today. And then, what else do we have in this beautiful box? Oh, look at that. This is going to be our flat iron steaks, if I'm correct. Flat iron steaks. Wow, it is cold. Cold, cold, cold. And then, chicken breast, organic chicken breast. This is great. And the last couple of things here that we should have, bacon, every keto kid's dream. Ooh, my hands are frozen. And our hamburger meat. All right. Mara, what do you think? Come over here and tell the camera what you think. It's a lot of beef. It's a lot of beef. It's a lot of beef. Like I'm like salivating. A lot of this stuff is also like clean keto because it's Whole30 approved and there's no sugar added. And that's hard to find. And that is hard to find. It is grass fed, grass finished. OMG. I'm like, I don't even know what I'm doing over here. I'm like, I'm, I'm having like a, a panic attack because there's so much meat and it looks so damn good. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. Da, da, da. Bacon, chicken, hamburger meat, pork butt. Oh my God. Ribeye. Iron steak, flat iron steaks. Look at this, and here's the box that came in. Oh, only one bad experience was like, we were waiting for this box all day, and Mariel was sitting down, and then she heard a car go by with like blasting music, and she's like, that might be our delivery. Thank God she checked, because literally that was our delivery, and the guy just left it right outside in front of the, he put lobby, but it wasn't really our lobby. Anyone could just take the box from the front entrance, but I'm gonna try the ribeye, and I'm gonna make a video on how to make some ribeye with just basic butter and garlic. Just keep it natural so that we can literally try out the taste and I'll keep you guys informed. Okay, so I'm gonna begin by taking out my ribeye steak and I'm gonna let it thaw out and then I'm gonna get my cast iron skillet so I can actually get a nice little char on the sides and then put it in the oven. Here it goes, I'm gonna put some salt and pepper. It's gonna go in the cast iron and then it's gonna go straight into the oven. Look how beautiful she looks. Two pieces of butter garlic, seasoned salt, some crushed pepper in there. Let that butter melt. All I'm trying to do is just get a nice char before I put it in the oven for a quick 10 minutes. Here goes my assistant for today, Chef Pug. Hey, right, looks like it's ready now to go to the oven. Get my mitt and put this bad boy in there. I'm gonna give it eight minutes only. It's in the oven. I'll be honest, I can eat all of this just by itself. It looks delicious. There's the kale, onions, and spinach. And there goes the steak right out of the oven. Here goes the meat, just cut it up, it looks pretty good. Put the kale together in a plate with a salad and we're all good to go. Here's the finished product. Some greens, some ranch. Man, I just tasted the meat, it's delicious. All right, so I'm gonna share our experience about Butcher's Box. Um, I liked it a lot. I thought it was great. I thought it was, it made the process of buying food much more easier, especially when it comes to buying meats. I know lots of you guys have gone to supermarkets and when it comes to buying meat, it becomes a nightmare. I, and I mean a total nightmare. It's so hard to find great organic meat. And if you do find great organic meat, it's either pasture raised, but it's not grass finished. And you have to go through all these crazy labels and there's, it's like a whole different algorithm. Just trying to figure out who's telling the truth and who's not telling the truth. Well, Butcher Box makes it pretty simple. Grass fed, grass finished. That's it, it's organic, whoop you do. Uh, so that was much more easier and you can select your beefs and just put them in a box, get it shipped to you. 
Uh, what was different for me as far as experience is when you open up the box, I mean, these things are like a cold ice brick. So that was kind of weird. But once we thaw it out, you put some seasoning, put it in a cast iron pan or even in the oven, magic happened. So the taste is pretty good. It tastes like restaurant quality, like high end fine dining type of beef. That was pretty good. We were excited with that. And it took away the rocket science of having to go to multiple supermarkets to figure out where we're going to get our beef today and which quality looks pretty good. Um, big thing for Mariel was the chicken because she's big on chicken. She hates the fact when you get chicken nowadays, it's pumped with all these types of chemicals and the chicken looks kind of yellow. And our chicken didn't look yellow. Our chicken looked like it was literally organically raised and the chickens were out having probably a good time. God forbid, rest in peace, my little chickens that died for us. Uh, but it tasted great. So I did resubscribe. Uh, I'm going to be getting to my next box filet mignon. So I swapped out the pork butt for filet mignons. Uh, I'm also getting some sweet baby back ribs. <laughs> I can't wait to have those. Those are great in keto. And I'm also going to be... Uh, adding what else did I add? I added the sweet baby back ribs. Uh, I added some more flat iron steaks. Oh, and I changed my chicken breast to chicken thighs because I like chicken thighs for some particular reason. So I put those in there as well. So that's that. We liked it. So we're going to continue to buy it because it takes away the rocket science of trying to figure out where I'm going to buy my beef from. Uh, and the other great thing about Mariel is the fact that we kind of leave our veggies in our refrigerator pretty slim to none. Uh, the reason why is because we're on keto and we want to go out and we want to move so if there's nothing as far as vegetables and I have to go outside every day it gives me an opportunity to add some steps or start walking and getting the body moving and making ourselves much more active and that's pretty much it so I liked it Mario liked it and if you like our videos as well make sure you click on subscribe and click on that bell so you can get notifications we also do hikes um, we do a hike every weekend one to two hikes every weekend and um, we'll share those with you as well if you guys like those type of trips and we'll share everything that we can talk about keto. And otherwise than that, thank you for watching our channel. And have a great day.